So this is just a little continuation from the last video. In fact, I had a really interesting comment from, I'm gonna get your name wrong, but it's Mike Perigio or Perigio. Uh, either way, Mike commented that I'd said, I don't like the way the two's displaying. And in fact, I'd uh, had a two displaying on these two here. And, and I didn't like the way that two was displaying. Um, but he pointed out that some other weird stuff was going on and that I'd potentially, in the schematic at least, there is uh, a mistake on the silk screen on here. And I'll show you what that is. So he pointed this out, he's a smarter man than me. I didn't notice. There's a lot going on when I'm doing the videos, so it's hard for me to really keep my attention on all of these things. Plus it wasn't particularly about the kit, it was more about me talking about how I was gonna do my dice, but using this as sort of a crutch to do that. Anyhow, the problem lies with Q3. So um, you can probably see, but let's zoom in a little. And God, I hate having to focus all the time. So Q3 there, it actually says 8550 in the schematic, but if we bring this back in, Q3, just down the bottom down here, says 8050. So I was running by the solder mask on here, read that, saw, and uh, also read over here, it says 8550. I should pull that down. 8550 over here. And I found one 8550 and then assumed all the rest were these 8050 ones. Now, uh, <laughs> that means there's an 8550 on here that shouldn't be in one of these 850 ones. So let's see if we can find it, shall we? Uh, let's see if we can brighten this up a touch. Wrong way. And focus in. Oh God, it's very difficult to see them, isn't it? I mean, I can see it. Okay, we're gonna cheat a little bit more. This is gonna make color correction really difficult. So now we've got like a frame rate of whatever. <laughs> So 8550, just there. And that is Q4, not meant to be there. So let's suck that out and see if we can fix it. So these ones here are three and four. So we're gonna be removing as much solder as we can from those before we try and remove them. Um, I'm not very good at doing this. So what I tend to do is I put more solder on and then suck it off afterwards. So we'll see if that works. I need to get one of those. People have got these fancy ones. <laughs> they look, what are they called? Chinese engineer or I can't remember. They've got like a silicon tip on the end. They look really fancy. Big Clive had one and now everyone else seems to get one. Dave Darko's got one as well. Oh. Let's see. Right, let's get those into the appropriate slots, shall we? So we've got the 8550 here. That needs to go into number three. And the 85, oh, so 8050 needs to go into number four. And we'll do that one second, actually. We're just gonna uh, use a soldering iron and just pop this one back in. Is the right orientation? It is. There we go, we'll get that sorted in first. Right, next one. There we go, and we'll just push that one in from the bottom as well. There we go, and we'll just Get those pads sorted. Again, I've lost the sort. Oh no, there it is. <laughs> I 
there we are right that should be it so let's plug it into power and find out if indeed it is fixed what have we got power and ground wise this one is power and this one is ground so we have a two that is right, the right two should we turn it around i think it should be uh, roughly oh, hang on there we go i don't know if it's in focus that'll do so it's rolling they're all an even brightness and that's a four, almost an even brightness. We've got some variance there. Why is that exactly? I should be able to tell actually. Five and three. I can't even read the numbers on this. It's too difficult. So it appears to be working now. So this is it rolling. I think uh, Mike said it wasn't to do with the variance in the resistors. I think it's not such a large difference, so it, it could still be, but it seems like Mike might actually know the answer. So we've got a one there. And a six. So that was it. We've got um, a silk screen on here which tells us to put the wrong part in. And uh, although we, we didn't have enough of those parts, I didn't check because I'd already found the 8550 rather than the 8050. So thanks a lot, Mike, I appreciate it. I wanted to make the video because I didn't want people to think that I don't pay attention to the comments because honestly, it's like the richest source of material for me. You guys are, well, quite often more intelligent than me. Ah. Uh... <laughs>